Back to This Morning now on BBC One, and here's Vanessa. In 45 minutes, Mohamed Al Fayed is here with soul star George Benson to tell me how his friendship with the singer is easing his pain over the loss of his beloved son Dodi. We find out the story behind the headlines of the breakup of Mick Jagger and Jerry Hall's marriage. That's the Vanessa Show at 9:45. But first, over to Kilroy. <laughs> Hello and good morning. Sex is an important part of every loving relationship. Of course it is. It's brilliant if your needs coincide, if you both want the same thing at the same time, all the time. But that doesn't very often happen, does it? Some people have a higher sex drive than others. Most people, I suppose, kind of come to terms with that. They compromise, they accommodate with each other. But what happens if you can't? A bit like you, that, Tracy, isn't it? Yeah. That's the problem with you and Steve. Um, he, he wants it all the time, basically. <laughs> all the time? Yeah. Not all the time. Oh, not all the time? <laughs> not all the time. Oh, just a little bit of the time. How much of the time? More, f more frequent than what it is. That'd be nice. What does that mean? Um, just more often. More often than, than not. Well, what I know, but how often is, is, is you're not having it? Well, I'd like it every five minutes, to be honest. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> oh, so... <laughs> so... So, you're not really very demanding like Steve, well, are no, you? I mean, I'm not asking for it every five minutes. I'm not demanding for it. It's just that it'd be nice to have it every five minutes. What's the problem? I'm just... I want it every five minutes. No, 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 but, uh, yeah, but you can't do it every five well, minutes. Well, no, I mean... Hmm? That's not possible, really. What's the, what, what's the gap between you two? You, you, what, what, how often do you want to make love, Tracy? I'm not sure, just when it feels right, you know. You and how often does it feel right for you? About once a week. Once a week. <laughs> no, no, no week. this is serious. You would be very happy to make love once a week. Yeah. In, in, in the proper circumstances, a nice environment, and that would be right for you. Yeah. yeah. Now, not every five minutes, Steve, because you can't do it every five minutes, because I think it's physically impossible. And anyway, it's outrageous. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, how frequently would you like to make love to your wife? At, at least more than once a day. More than once a day? Yeah. So, what happens to your relationship? Arguments. It, it arguments. does put a strain on it. Do you get, does he get on your nerves? Yeah. Is he asking all the time? Yeah. Well, how does he behave, tell me? You know, he can be cooking the tea and he'll come up behind you and... Give you a kiss? Things like that, yeah. And a cool. Try and initiate it, yeah. Well, I'll, I'll try, but it's an elbow. <laughs> 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 I bet you've got a lot of bruises off yeah. the deck. <laughs> Just, do, you, do you get angry about him? I get resentful sometimes towards him, yeah. So it causes rats? Yeah, I mean, sometimes I may just want to cuddle, but it's not enough for him. You're afraid to have the cuddle? Yeah. In case the cuddle yeah. is something. Yeah. Whereas Steve wants the cuddle because he likes the cuddle, but he thinks. Then he when might. I do want to cuddle, she doesn't want to because she thinks that it, I want more. So she misinterprets you. Sometimes. And there are, so there are times, Steve, you just want to go and give her a lovely cuddle. And she won't let me. And she thinks you've got an ulterior motive. Yeah. Does it? Does it cause lots of rows? I think it does. It, it stems from. Yeah. Steve, it, can I just say something to you? At the end of the day, basically, when you're having passion with your partner, can't you just compromise with her and have it like two or three times a week if she was willing to go that far with you? I mean, obviously, yeah, but sometimes Tracy wants it and the very frequent time that I don't. Pardon? You know, <laughs> I was going to say, oh, you do every five minutes, man! I might be just going to watch the football or something. And <laughs> Liverpool. <you know. laughs> At the end of the day, if you're not willing to um, compromise with Tracy, why should she compromise with you when she does feel hard? But I, I do compromise any time she does want it more often than not. I'm there. Uh, but you, you're Apart like, from football. But what are you saying? You well, shouldn't put pressure on her. Basically, I, I don't no, see it as pressure, though. I don't see myself as putting pressure on her. Are you Wait. pressured? Yeah. She's pressured. Well, I, she only, I think she only feels that because I have to initiate everything. She feels pressured. Slightly. What about she feels she... pressured. That's why she's here. She feels pressured. Tell him. You have got to talk to each other. 
Do you feel pressured? It feels yeah. like pressure. Yeah. Uh, is it there all the time, this pressure? Most of the time. Every day? Yeah. Every time he comes towards you, you feel you, it's, it's pressure? Yeah. Steve, I think she feels pressured. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I sympathise with Steve because, I mean, I've been taking uh, vitamins quite recently and that's increased my sex drive, you know, we're taking with that, um, the, you know, and also we're trying for another baby as well, so I feel, you know, that we need to perhaps have sex a bit more often for that reason, you know. Yeah, but I, mean, I sympathise with Tracy because he hassles me like mad all the time for it, the same as Tracy was saying. What when I'm do? trying to wash up or do the laundry or something, he's there behind me, like... What, nuzzling really in the back of your neck? really annoys me sometimes. <laughs> really? Yeah. Well, you, you use your elbows too, do you? Yeah. Who's got yeah. the most bruises, you or Steve? <laughs> <laughs> but, what, but, 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 but don't yeah. you understand what Tracy is saying about... It? She feels pressured. She doesn't like it. She wants to kind of get on with her life. And you, 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 you quite... Like Steve, you're kind of... Well, you know, they've got to kind of accommodate us. Is that what you're saying? It's difficult because it's biological, I think, to a certain extent. But, oh, you, you can't know. help it? Well, you can help it, but you can't... <laughs> <at least>, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to say to the ladies, don't they feel <coughs> flattered, though, when their partners want them so much? I would find oh, it yeah. such a confidence yeah. boost. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. You know, he loves you and he wants to have oh, physical love with you. It's such a oh, marvellous thing. Yeah. It's such a confidence boost. No? You flattered. You flattered. Sometimes, but mostly just irritated. But you said you were flattered, Trey. Yeah, flattered. Yeah. You, you are flattered. Yeah. yeah. Look at his, his hand on her no. knee. No. Get your hand <laughs> off her knee. That is, you are putting pressure on her, Steve. Go and watch the football. <laughs> what are you going to say? She Steve? gets confidence, but then it's she's given me the rejection through it, oh, you and feel... I, I feel rejected because. Yeah, but that's um, because you're putting too much pressure on her as a woman. Basically, at the end of the day, she's got the choice to say no to you when she feels like she wants to. And it's, if you were to... Under... I'm, I'm after it. It's not as if I am after it every five minutes. That's how she interprets it. I mean, sometimes I'll, I'll try and give her a cuddle or a, or a kiss, and she'll say, no, leave me alone. Yeah, but if you explained, obviously, at the end of the day, you don't want passion or sex. It's just like you want cuddle Well, then that's where the argument will start, because she, she'll say... Can I just... You know, you're yeah. on about the comments cuddles and comforts and things like that and obviously you're saying no I know exactly how you feel I know exactly but instead of that I just find he's always pestering I mean you're saying five minutes he is every every second or every minute he's got he'll be there he's <laughs> oh I don't know how I live with it I really don't I mean the amount of times the bags have been packed that's how serious it's been getting with, with us I mean we've been married two years this August but we have only been together two years this March right. if you know what I mean that's when we got together and everything, and so it was a whirlwind romance. We've had a little baby. Well, you mean you got um, married before you got together? No, you, I'm getting this. I, couldn't couldn't wait. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> I thought um, that's a new one. Well, it was two, two years this March, we got together. Um, we first met, didn't we? We moved in within yeah. four days of, get, of getting together. Um, I fell pregnant at the end of April, and we got married in the August, didn't we? Yeah. And like that's coming up for two years now that we've been married and everything. And I'm only 21. and. I feel like it's me that's got the problem. He makes it feel as if it's me with the problem. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Oh. You're not, you haven't got the problem. End of the day, right, you should be really honoured that you've always been there. He wants to be with you all the time. But sometimes in arguments, though, he'll say, well... I love the way he says it. No. Wants to be with you. Yeah. As if he's there for... You mean wants to have sex with yeah. her? Yeah, it's not to be with her. Feel it's to have sex for, with her, like... yes, and to be with her and, and could yeah, look to her. But that's, that's sometimes that's all day. I feel like I'm there for, though, for him. I mean, sometimes he'll turn around to me in the middle of an argument. Now, he works shifts in a petrol station and it's not the best of jobs, but he's got women always coming. I'm not a secure person as it is. And when he can turn around to me in an argument and say, oh, I can get anybody. Well, that's too early. You know Everyone what I mean? Sometimes he'll come out with it. Yeah. Oh, well, that's blackmail. Yeah. But no, he's blackmailing. Yeah, he's blackmailing. Black black I mean, OK, I can understand from all the males from here that with regards to sex drive, because I've got a high sex drive, and I probably do. Tell me about it. Tell me about it. I don't need to. She knows. Oh, she knows. She knows. We've been together 13 years. And it's over the And it's only the last six years that it's got progressively worse. And it's every time he comes through the door, it's darling, darling, <laughs> arms around me. And I thought, I just want to cuddle, not to go to bed or anything like that, especially when you've got three children around anyway. 
Um, but I mean, certainly in the last sort of six years, we've we've learned to um, understand each other's feelings and talk about the issues. Um, Is that right? Oh, that's okay. right. Yeah. yeah. When it, when the issue comes up, we actually sit down, we talk about it. We don't argue. Mm. Oh no, we, we have to argue. We don't. But you, yeah. accuse, yeah. you accused Andy, yeah. who hasn't had a chance oh, yeah. to have I mean, a word, of, 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 of emotional blackmail. It or is. I mean, I mean no. we've talked Cause, about cause, it a long time. Because he says to what you he says, it, says it, if that's the last thing he'll say. What? Is that's the final final word of an argument with him? What is is well, I can get some, you know, out of all the women that come in into into work, yeah. you know, I'm sure, and I'll just turn and say, well, you better get back to the back then. But Andy's so gone. No offence to him, though. I don't he's want to offend him. him. You don't want to offend him. No, I still, you know, I love him to bits. Of course you do. She's just she just slagged him off, kind of in front of the whole world, because this goes out around the whole world, you know. In the next couple of weeks, it'll be in Cyan and Cyan and Brianne and whatever it is. And she says to you, he's emotionally black. And then he gets upset about it. What you. she's not saying is, when we got, first got together in March, it was a role reversal. She was the one with the higher sex drive, and I was the one that couldn't keep up. But now that the roles have been changed, it's... I think that's why we find it more difficult. We're having both sides. We're both feeling what... You know, reversed. Yeah. Like I've been in his shoes, he's been in my shoes. Should and I, I think give you then the chance now to talk about it? You, if but you're we both, can't. We're too alike. Know, we can't talk. That, that's the you're only doing problem. pretty well we're now. Well. You're saying we're, we're very much like, and I would say yes, we're very yeah. compatible. We've gone through 13 years of marriage, and yes, yeah. six years I've probably you know been in the same situation, pressurising my wife Michelle here yeah. um, for sex. But I um, mean, you know, in the last few years, we've sat down, we've talked about the issues. I know my faults, she knows her faults, type thing. We've tried to compromise and work yeah. that out. Well, so, I mean, we've compromised. I mean, the only thing is, is sometimes. Sometimes I feel as if sex is a chore. I'd sometimes rather go into the dishes. Well, no, or... there's two things. Pardon? There's sex, sex and making love. Sex is a chore love. to me at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> the way he makes it, I want I to I could understand you don't want to, but to prefer doing the dishes. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I mean, I thought I'd heard everything. Sometimes I do, though. That's just it. Sometimes, you, sometimes you, you I feel that. Yeah. I just feel that pressured. Yeah, so that you pressure. And I feel right. awful. I mean, if, you, if he doesn't get it at night, the thing is, he'll ring me up from work. Are we up for something tonight, Doc? I get exactly the same. I'm just sitting next to me. I've been there. I've been there. I'm going to see you later then, Doc. And my mum turns around. Let me talk to my mum about it. I think that's normal, Andy. That's just love talk. That's men being romantic to their You see, the thing is, and when you're romantic with them, they go on like this. Listen to her. He's chatting. He is really. He is taking the trouble. Listen, Kerry, in the middle of a very busy day when he's under enormous <laughs> pressure at work, that man is taking the trouble to pick up... And he has to dial the number, remember? Yeah. Right? And he's picking up the phone, waiting for you while all around him, they're milling around, wanting his decisions and yeah. his attention, and he's saying, I love you, see you tonight. But he doesn't even say, I love you, though. It's just, are we up for some tonight? He says, are we up for some tonight? Well, that's... Oh. He'll come home. That's, He'll come home. Saying, I love you. But the thing is, though, he huffs and puffs and the covers come oh. off me in the middle of the night because he's in one of his moves because he hasn't had it. That's because you finished the duvet. And so <laughs> <laughs> well, what happens when the covers come off you in the I have them back because oh. I can't get any spare room at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> He's the same as that. He's a nurse and he works shifts and he's on nights at the moment. And he'll phone me at like 11 or half past 11 at night and say, well, are you going to be in bed for me in the morning? I mean, we've got a toddler. The chances of me being in bed at 8.30 in yeah. the morning are like nil <laughs> with a toddler. But he still expects me to be there. And if I'm not, then he sulks for the rest of the day. Look yeah. at his face. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> his face is a bit... Steve. They should be flattered that they're actually taking the time out and calling them from work. Oh, you've work. got a cheek. You've got a <laughs> no, no. You, Only a scouser could say, you've got a terrible cheek. No, they should be flattered that they're actually taking time out of the busy schedule to think of them. I say all the people, of himself, all, though. All the people this chap meeting in this garage, all these beautiful no. women who were walking in. You're talking about Andy now? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he's thinking of you when he sees them. No, he's yeah. thinking be, of himself, though. He's not thinking of me, he's thinking of himself. But he's not thinking of who he wants to be with. You know, he's not thinking, he's thinking of me. He's not thinking, oh, that girl in the fiesta, yeah, she's nice. He's thinking you're nice, he's phoning you. Yeah, but he knows that, like, half the time, you know, it's near enough minus ten that the chances of him getting summits. Well, what are do you, you surprised? Know? You come I've home tried, now. I've tried. The what funny would thing do? is, though, what would you do? He said, I'm glad you rang. I've been waiting yeah. for you all morning. Come on, now. I'll get a speeding ticket. I'll get a speeding ticket. If you took the pressure off... Are you talking to Steve now? Yeah. yeah. If you took the pressure off mm -hmm. and give her the chance to initiate it, it could be exciting for you. She could surprise well, you. Yeah, work. give her a bit of respect, let her think it's her idea. Oh, and then you're going to actually get something out. Like, just, put, just putting pressure on all the time is not going to get you anywhere, and it's obviously not getting you anywhere. I, I don't not respect her. Um, I mean, we have, we have talked a lot about it, and... We, but we, sometimes we, it's quality, not quantity. If she oh, surprised yeah. you once a week, you came home, you just left it, 
you walk through the door, so she came down and surprised you. That quality that you would get out of it, you might think, oh, it does work. You know, it, actually. Wo it works. It does work. Yeah, yeah it does work. I've if you, tried if you that. Give that it's minutes. true, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if, if you saved yeah. five minutes and let wait half an hour, but in that half an hour, you could be upstairs. You don't she have had that half an hour and think, mm. oh. He doesn't look very convinced, does he? No, no because well, we, we've convinced? tried, yeah, we've tried, tried that. that. Um, we've, we've obviously, sex isn't the major issue anymore. It's it's sex is just one part of the relationship we we feel. No, it but isn't. it would would be no, nice no, to okay. have that piece in the relationship. Whereas at the moment, I feel that that little piece is missing. Mm. Okay, Dima. Well, it isn't really. End of the day, it isn't. Because at the end of the day, really, you want to uh, get in there and get it over and done with the business. You should respect the lady more. Oh, I, I do. I mean, I have calmed down. Um, <laughs> it does respect me, I mean, it's just hard. Sometimes, because we've got two young children, I mean... I've got two young children. One's two and one's nine months, and, like, you have a hectic day with them, and then you go to mm -hmm. bed. All you want to do is yeah. get your head just down. Get your but head aren't, you the, aren't you the one that wakes your wife up in the middle of the night? Right, it's two. <laughs> I, 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 <laughs> I mean, he's telling you. I, I he's telling you to respect I've, her. I've more, I've more respect for, for I, 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 I mean, I, I know a bit more about this fella as well, which I'm, I'm not <laughs> yeah. kind of going to say unless he, unless he kind of volunteers it himself. Oh, Let's just say he goes as far as waking his wife up in the middle of the night. Oh, oh yeah. I'd never do that because she's I do too tired to be here this morning. Oh, she is. She was going to be. She was going to be here this morning. I've tied her up. Me and she's there ready when I get home. And that's it. You know, one of the things about this, Robert, that, that I'm really interested Sorry. in is the fact that we've got this kind of it's right and it's wrong. You either have a high sex drive or you have a low sex drive, and it's either right or it's wrong. Now, look, sex drives are just different. Biologically, we have different makeups, for example. Now, if you think about it, if you were looking at food, one of you may have a higher appetite, the other a lesser. You wouldn't dream of going into a restaurant saying, you're not leaving here till you've had a 17-course meal, even if you throw up all over the tablecloth. You just wouldn't dream of well, doing it. Yeah. And yet, we dream of doing well, it with sex. Well, then it's up to you and your partner to reach a happy medium. Well, it is, and I think you hit the nail yeah. right on yeah. the head. But part yeah. oh, of reaching... Okay. Hang on, but what's the happy medium? I well, you've got to you two. We you can't talk about your state. We what just you are still early in a relationship. Yeah, which is what scares us more than anything. It's because we're so early into a relationship. It seems to kind of... Like we're packing bags and kicking each other out the house. You know? Because of this? Yeah, yeah. it yeah. is. It all comes from... Even if I've made him, what... A burnt your tea or something. I mean, I can't keep my life like... But burnt his tea. And eventually, that argument... We'll get round to the sex. Everything but leads. But it's always you that brings the sex. I've got to admit it's me up. because I feel it's my problem. But thinking about it, I think I've got a healthy sex drive. Do you know a normal healthy sex drive? What's a normal healthy mm. sex drive? Two, three times a week. <laughs> Just not all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Is that, no, no, no. Two, three times a week. Two, three times a week. Now you have to be when you no, first met. Exactly. Like when we first Why? met, we were decorating. I'd grab him by his ankles, running up the stairs, and that would be it. Be, you know. And he couldn't handle me. And I think that's why I realise now, perhaps two, three times a week, it keeps it nice, it keeps it special, it keeps it sexy. But why do you think it the tables feel like... But it's the affection it's that goes baby. with it that she's so losing as well. Yeah. Yeah. That's but what... Yeah, he's... Yeah, because you can't just separate sex out. It's not no. something like a it's mechanical thing that you just go, right, now we're going to do it. Yeah. It's but, part but of the package. Do you know what he said? He says you miss, she's, she's missing the romantic affectionate part. I am missing yeah. that. Yeah. I'm missing and the fact that we need to go meals. No, but he's saying he wants to do that. He doesn't know. Well, I want the affection, yeah. yeah. That's what I'm but saying. Every time, obviously, I get close to Kerry, she's thinking it's going to lead to something else. Which I just, that's it. Well, can't you compromise on two or three times a week? Well, I'd love to. Thing is, though, you well, give well, him well, an well, age, that's he'll normal. Take a mile. You mean you're not, you're not, you're not behaving in the norm. You're not doing two or three times no. a week. You're not. No, because if you give him one night, week. he'll expect it the next night, and then he'll expect it. Oh, you're he's he's giving him an age. You're going to get into a vicious circle. You're going to get into a vicious circle. Why don't you even kind of? I don't know. It sounds terribly routine, though, just to talk in terms routine. of numbers. It should yeah. be. It could be every day or three times a day or nothing for weeks, couldn't it? Well, should well, be yeah, it should be a spoon. Well, well, the reason why but I was thinking, like, that sounds friends. really awful, right? Tuesday, <laughs> Thursday, <laughs> Friday, <laughs> at five past nine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, mean, that's a, I know, I was thinking... So with a baby, though, you can't have that kind of thing. You right, can't have, make you time can't. for yourself. You we need do, quality we do. time. Absolutely. But the only problem is, I mean, while he's at work, I'm turning around and I'm thinking, oh, yeah, you know, oh. And I do get the urge throughout the day. Most days I get the urge. The moment he walks through the door, 
No, I've lost it. Because mm. you've lost something. You see, yeah. in, the, in the damage that's taken place between yeah. you over this kind of period of time, you've lost trust in each yeah. other. So when you're apart, you can have it, but when you get together, I mean, it's kind of like... I've tried to stop for him when he's coming from work, yeah. so I've been really, you know, urged for it. Yeah. I'll be honest, I've had my hands summer's parties and things, and I've brought <laughs> the stuff, and I've tried my best. And while he's at work on a late shift, I'll get myself bathed and put all my nice expensive perfume on. But then again, as soon as he walks through the door and I've just got my dressing gown on over the stuff, you know, and I think, what a mistake. Why? I don't know. What, do you lose confidence? I just, yeah, I think that's what it is. is that I think I'm is? losing confidence. You, you mustn't lose confidence. I mean, what would, you must think that's wonderful. Oh, I think it's brilliant when I walk through the but door. Also, but also, leaving the sex to one side, all mm. right, the fact that she does that must also make you love her. Yeah. Because she, mm. she's done it for you. Yeah. She's done you it for herself. She's done it for herself. She's done it for herself. Yeah. But she's obviously, of course, she has, because she said she gets to you. But she's also done it for you, because she's yeah. wanting to please you. She's mm. knowing she's pleasing you. She's gone out of her way. And I would have thought in that situation, you would actually be, you'd see her like that. And of course, you'd have all the lust and that, but you'd also feel a great deal of love and affection because of the fact that she's shown she cares. She's made the effort. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Well, you two have got it there. Oh, yeah, we've well, got you know, it. We just haven't got the bit between the sheets, have we? Oh, would you do that? <laughs> <laughs> well, you can. <laughs> we don't have to do it between the sheets. Well, no, we've tried. Well, yeah. Yeah, all right, know. all right. We won't go into details. <laughs> we all know about that. I think you two can sort it out. I'm sure yeah. you can. You've just got to talk to each other. I mean, even if you go to Angie's kind of cold, roofless Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays, <laughs> it's a start, <laughs> isn't it? Put it you on can the sort fridge, it out. Put it on the fridge. On else. the fridge door, Andy. We sorted it for you. Sam, you understand all this? I feel sorry for him. Not being rude to you or anything, yeah. but it's like you want it. You really feel I had to put into words. When you see him, they really turn you on or whatever. You've had a bad day. Do you know what I mean? It's like relieves the stress. It's like, yeah, in the kitchen, you go to him, right? And it's like. It's everywhere and everywhere. Come on, baby. <laughs> oh, no, no, not now. What we're talking about now, of course. <laughs> It's not the men doing the pressuring. Oh, no, it's not the men snuggling up behind him while she's doing the washing up. It's her. She's the one with the higher sex drive. What causes you problems, then, Mark? I don't think it's a problem. I think it's all right. Oh, you do? Yeah, she gets it often enough, but it's just small. How often is enough? She gets it in the morning, she gets it at night. Every day. Oh, right. And that's not enough? No. It's not Sam. No. It's just not enough. <laughs> Why Sam? Sam's obviously like got it. a higher sex drive than you. I'd she like complains if she takes the kids to school no. and I'm still not in bed when she gets back. No. <laughs> <laughs> so I stay there in bed and not get up. It's a ten minute walk to the school Good. though. This is the thing. And ten minutes back. <laughs> yeah. It is literally right, but I'd like a bit more. It's always me going well, to Well, very long, but you've kind of made love before you get go to school. Yeah. Oh, and, it, and, and, and it's a ten minute walk as long as that. <laughs> and a 10 minute walk as long as that's all of 20 minutes and you want him to be ready for you yeah because yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> why aren't you mark if I just stay there in bed isn't it <laughs> so, 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 so. <laughs> Listen, listen, what do you mean? He, what he said was, why did you get somebody to take the kids? He is paying somebody, he's paying somebody oh, not to take the kids to school. <laughs> no, he, he he's, got to, he's got it the wrong way around. Do you know what? He spent the last six months trying to find a school further away. <laughs> <laughs> so he would take half an hour there and half an hour, I'm not on a bus route either. Well, who's the, is there a, what's the problem here then? Well, first of all, the couples have met the wrong people. Yeah. You should swap <laughs> over. <laughs> <laughs> No, so it's, it's what everybody's been saying, isn't it? It's compatibility. That's but still you, too much uh, for me, anyway. You're, 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 so saying swap partners and everything, but I mean, twice a day is still too much for me, every day. <laughs> I mean, he's still saying he's happy with twice a day, so I couldn't swap. So, so, so he, so he's, he's still a, too much for me. Yeah. I mean, all, all the other men would think that's fine, wouldn't you? Probably, yeah. yeah uh, and Andy, friends. Steve. Yeah. That would be acceptable. That would be acceptable. Yeah. <laughs> you could write that into a pre a prenuptial contract. That would be I fine. Could put that in my calendar. Yeah. So How are you so coping? You've been here twenty minutes. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, How are you coping? Actually. You've been over. You've been here over twenty minutes, Sam. <laughs> we usually so, like. I like to be on the spur of the moment. You might do the one, but it's nice in the afternoon, in the middle of the night, you know, it's... Yeah. Right. Doesn't have to be when you go to bed. Cupboard. What? I said, I wonder what that noise was in the kids' <laughs> tall covers upstairs. Are we <laughs> off the cellars here? <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, look, he's bomb a bomb again. I said it's a children, of course. <laughs> <laughs> what do you feel about this? Is, is she, is she, now, you see, we've all been having a go. Well, we know all, but most people mm. have turned their kind of ire onto uh, Steve yeah. and said, you know, it's unfair what he's demanding of Tracy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is nobody going to say the same thing about Sam? No, I think they're normal, but biologically, I think it's slightly impossible. But how is the saying that? Our friend here, bless him, he said every five minutes, and we're talking about, you know, an elbow. Oh, he's a scouser, he's exaggerating. It's impossible. Elbow, well, I have the yeah. edge every five minutes, but you just yeah. can't. When we first met, yeah. he was doing it then. Yeah, biologically, dear, it's not possible. We well, was doing it then, though. We were doing, doing it like, morning, noon, and night, and in the middle of the night. It's only steam. Having said that, having said that, our friend here, you say, you know, or waking her up in the middle of the night. No, I've never done no, that. No, 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 it was no. Was that no, 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 wait a minute. How do you know she ain't laying awake waiting for you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're only hearing one side of the coin here, aren't we? We well, don't like it, we don't Steve. like it. I've never known a woman in the eye street, and, except this young lad, <laughs> very honest, to say that they did. Oh, I'm do without it. Yeah. Really? You see the men going down the street. I'm 74, look at me, I'm happy. <laughs> I just think everyone seems, certain people here are lacking Spontaneity, you know, come up, have a quick grab, and you that's know, it. perhaps spur of the that's, moment. Yeah, it's there. It. Yeah. It's not <laughs> go on, Sam. Oh, that's not right. It's like the spontaneity of it. If you say it's like you've been in the kitchen, if you cook it, and it's like, that's right, I'll do the why not now? That's yeah. Oh, it goes it's... in the bath. Well, you say like, why not yes, now? Hang on, you say why not now? He's doing the cooking, and you <laughs> and you're harassing him <laughs> like Steve is harassing Tracy. You must understand what Tracy feels yeah, like. I do. You do. But it's better Tracy. Though. Yeah, but you, you're on about spontaneity, see, but um, no, you can't do it when you've got two children about. We've got four. Oh, you make time, hasn't it? I think you're using that as an excuse, <laughs> the children's <laughs> issue as an excuse. Oh, well, what's your dream? What's wrong with the lock on the Hang on, I can't say it. Yeah, 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 a two year old and a nine month old, you can't just leave him. You, no, you've you got can't. friends or Sometimes, whatever, just... obviously, when the kids are having the afternoon nap, I mean, you, you've got an hour. Yeah. You, you've got a good to get the 45 minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get the cleaning up done. 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 What do you do? You grease the doorknob so the kids can't get in the room. Put a lock on it. Put a lock on the door, don't you? So you've got privacy. Are you going to speak to me? Yeah, it's almost so. So, how often are you getting it? Are you getting it sort of like every five minutes, every day? No. Or every hour, every night? In the mornings, and she's getting it in the evenings. So, so, enough. so would you cut it, would you like well, to cut it down if you're given the chance? I would like it. No. Hang on. No. We're gonna put morning, this on the fridge door for you. I'd like it. <laughs> yeah. Early evening, you know? Yeah. And the kids are gone down to at half seven, eight o'clock. Alright, that's that's what he said twice. She starts getting no, the then, no, no, then, But oh. then again, yeah. like at night time, night time. Yeah. We start with a cuddle and then the spontaneity of it is like in the middle of the night and you wake him up. But he likes to start the day when he's The spontaneity, <laughs> three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> I mean, the spontane oh, it's spontaneous time. <laughs> three it's three o'clock <laughs> in the morning. It's spontaneity. <laughs> I think you have to draw a line somewhere. She's a nightmare, isn't she? <laughs> <laughs> she's a, don't you think she... I mean, Steve, no, I mean, you wouldn't be able to cope with this. She's obviously, a nightmare. No, I mean, obviously, she's she just wants a bit of variety. You've been out to work all day. What? No, she just wants a bit of variety. No, she's doing... You've been out to work all day. You've cooked the veggies. You've done the washing up. All that You've cooked the veggies. You've done the washing up. All that it is. You've been, um, you know, you've done the loving bit in the morning. Then when you come home from work, and she, uh, and then in the evening, and then three o'clock in the morning, she's giving you the elbow, well, saying, the, "I the want the spontaneity." Is, that's Would that's you help the whole point this? of it. Yeah, you, you, if you say first thing in the morning, last thing at night, it becomes, as, as some people have said, it becomes a chore. Yeah, yeah. It's a routine. You don't want that routine in your life. You want, you know. You want to change. You want spice. Want, yeah, something different. You don't want to say, "Oh, it's, it's seven o'clock." We said we were doing it. You want it's ten past seven. <laughs> To think about, Robert, is this idea of are we just talking about penetrative sex? After all, do remember that well, lovemaking has, a, has a variety of activities. Don't yes, worry, I'm going to be very no, no, quiet no, no, about no. this. Has we a are variety. the BBC, you know. <laughs> <laughs> has it's a different on the BBC, I promise. Well, honest, okay. it is. It is it's very intimate. different on the BBC. When you love someone, you want to be intimate with them. Yeah. yeah. And there's more than one way of being intimate. So what I'm saying is variety. We've talked about variety. We talked about, on the one hand, wanting to have contact, wanting to be intimate, absolutely. On the other hand, not to feeling overwhelmed that, you know, it's going to be uh, every day and all day. So what I'm saying is, wh where does variety come in? Where can we have one type of intimate contact and then maybe kind of intersperse it with other things? Well, that, that's where 
as I was saying earlier, sometimes I'll just want to kiss and a cuddle. All right. I'll just want to be close. Mm -hmm. You're approaching her wrong, obviously. Cause well, she's no, the sometimes wrong I'll, I'll of you. approach and say, can we have a kiss and a cuddle? Or I'll just try and give her a cuddle. I think he wants more. Yeah. She owes, she well, you've got to trust him then. Yeah, you've true. got to trust yeah. his actions. That's, that's where she, she, she doesn't trust me enough to let me just put my arms around her and squeeze her. But yeah, maybe you have to talk up. more. Maybe you have to actually talk a lot about all the different aspects that one can think of in lovemaking so that instead she doesn't think, oh my God, it's always going to end up in this place, but thinks, well, there's a variety of things and I wouldn't mind some of that. No, Rather right. than... It's your fault. <laughs> It's your fault. Not You're not being Rob, invented. Not I mean, he knows he's one of he's one of us. He's all right. He can take the can't you? Oh, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Are you a living water sports as well? Or yeah. Of course. Oh, you're all right then. You're okay. What do you reckon about all these lot then? You had views on him. What about views on Sam? I you agree started with, telling I agree with Steve. Her totally. I agree well, with her how totally. can you agree with Sam? <laughs> what do you mean? With me? <laughs> yeah, yeah, go on. That's right, Steve. How can you agree with their opinions and not mine? Well, we're, we're because he's a victim in too. In general, when women have a higher sex drive than men, they mm. are more sensitive to their partners. They're not as, I want to say aggressive, but rough. they're not as rough as saying, well, I'm come on, rough. you know. You, women are I'm more sensitive rough. and women are much more likely to back away if they're getting the no signals from their well, that's, partner. That's, that's what it, happens it hurts does. like hell when they do that, but women will back away. Men sometimes can be like, oh, get stroppy and stomp off and throw the sulk kit around sulk. and all that Do you sulk? No. Yes, she's <laughs> <laughs> one that's going like that, there's another one going no. like this. <laughs> I, I wouldn't say so. It's just, it's the rejection part more than anything that I don't like. You do actually feel that, don't you? Because yeah. I feel that a lot because, as I say, when I'm just trying to give her a squeeze... Oh, you... ..or I'm just trying to give her a kiss, it's... She, she's pushing me away, saying, no, leave me alone, I don't want to. And that hurts you? It well, does yeah, make I mean, you feel it, a bit it, insecure? Well, yeah, it, it's it does. It's insecure. Pardon? He's a very insecure person. Are you not worried, Tracy, that he's going to look elsewhere? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> we were watching his eyebrows, but he was doing that to tease no. you. Um, no, we were not I'm going to tease no, I wouldn't. Say, because I've been in a relationship where the man just didn't want to know. And unfortunately, even though I didn't want to do this, I loved him so much I couldn't finish the relationship, but I had to look somewhere else for sex. Thankfully, I had a very understanding male friend who knew what my situation was. He was an ex-boyfriend of mine, and he was very understanding. There wasn't anything emotional. Shush but it was, it was, it's, a, it's a scratch that's got to, it's an itch that's got to be scratched. And you've, you've got well, to... Well, the end scratching it twice a day, three times a day, Smella is. You're doing enough scratching, aren't but it, you? But it's, difficult. Oh, I am, yeah. it's difficult when you're in a relationship. The way you love someone, it wasn't a decision I made lightly. It was something I thought about for a long time. I thought this relationship's going to end if I don't have some kind of physical love from somewhere. We're talking about whether you've got a kind of problem if your partner has a higher sex drive than you. And we've talked about Steve, who'd like to make love with Tracy more frequently than she wants to, which is also equally true of Kerry and Andy. It's also true of um, Mark and Sam, I'm trying to remember all of these names, but the other way around there, and it's, in that case, it's Sam that wants to make more love more often, more frequently. Do you get to the point, Eileen, where if you're not doing it as often as you want to, that you feel you might want to end the relationship? Yes, constantly. Why? Um, I just feel rejected, I feel unattractive. Um, I've got a child and I spend all day with that child and I feel like I'm not getting any love or affection from my partner. Um, he just says he's tired all the time. You know, I wouldn't mind if I had some affection, you know, cuddles and kisses, you know, like they're saying they give, but I don't get any of that either. I mean, if I want cuddles and kisses, I have to ask for them, you know. Why is that? I really haven't got a clue. Well, I just think it's all me, you know. Are you saying you've got a higher sex drive than him or he hasn't oh, got a sex drive at all? I don't think he's got one at all, to be honest. Well, how often, how frequently do you make love? Um, well, it hasn't been... Uh, well, we've gone six months without it before. Oh, and, uh, you know, I feel very hurt by that. And then when we used to have the odd occasion when we do it, I think, yeah, that was worth waiting for, you know. But it's got to the stage now where, you know, when we get to do it, I just think, you know, I can't be bothered, I'd rather not do it. Well, then wouldn't you say it's time to call it a day, then? Sam. Well, the problem is, I mean, I don't get no affection off him in any way, but there's something about him that I don't want... Well, you're not getting no affection, you're not being intimate, there's not really a lot... Yeah, in I a know. Relationship. That's why I can't I understand why like I can't tell him to go. You've got to get out, then, haven't you? 
I mean, it's very, very hurtful, and you've got you've got to get out of that relationship because it isn't doing you any good. But well, you're talking to Sam. She's got to get out of her no, relationship. Oh, no, oh, well, 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 what I'm trying. No, she's just. <laughs> <laughs> but you're talking, talking to Ivan. Yes, because if you are in that relationship, all that happens to you is you lose your self worth, you lose your pride, you lose everything that you ever were, and you become. Um, a second, oh, I just felt that I was absolutely nilch in the relationship I was in. Why? Because I was being rejected and rejected all the time. And before, um, when we were together sexually, <coughs> when I was in a marriage, he wanted me all the time. I came out of a marriage, became available, and there was no sex whatsoever. And I couldn't, I, it wasn't the sexual act, as you were putting over, of what you were saying about penetration or whatever. It was the fact of feeling absolute total rejection so i can see where you're coming mm. from with that you're talking to yeah. steve yeah i'm sorry yeah. steve I, uh, yeah. it's the rejection is just um something that is so hard to uh, to live with so what are you saying to ireland she's got to get out of this relationship well, okay the main thing is talk isn't it i mean where you were saying you've got to talk to your partner yeah. and you've got to talk all the time well, sex is a gift it's something you offer to somebody you should wait to be offered um but then at the same time you shouldn't six months <laughs> <laughs> it's longer than waiting for the stuff to come from the catalogues, that is six months, isn't it? <laughs> but it is! Yeah, but oh, you've waited a long time for the stuff from the catalogues too, have you? Yeah, but it's dangerous. If you're... If you turn around to someone and say, I want it now, and you're constantly saying, I want it now, I want it now, then it's dangerous, you're playing with fire. I've never done that. turn around and walk off. I've never done that. Have I've never tried? ever pressured him at all. You know, I mean. But he pressured you. Uh, well, no, he doesn't pressure me because I don't get it. But have you tried being? Well, just from listening to a lot of people around here, it seems that most of the blokes want sex and women want to make love. Yeah, you're talking. There's two different things. You got the physical acts of just sex, and get it over, get rid of the stress, and then you got the other part of where they want it. Take your time affection, over. Take your time. Yeah. You know, Do it when it's quality special. rather than just yeah. you know do it 20 minutes here, 5 minutes there, which is great fun and all that, but, you yeah. know, the rest of it, <laughs> you get bored of it and you, you, you want to have something special then, and that's what's the important thing, it's yeah. a special, be special, In which is what you're months. after. Well, yeah. to be yeah. honest, I don't really care what it is, you know, whether it's special, whether it's love making or whether it's sex, I don't care, providing I'm getting it, oh, you no, know, but it's the like fact that I'm not getting anything mm -hmm. at the moment. I mean, I think the main you reason was... twice in the last 11 months, haven't you? Uh, no, it was. It's eleven times in two years. That's oh, I knew it was eleven and two. Yeah. Right. It, well, it's eleven and a half times in two years since. <laughs> since <laughs> Hang on. Did you hear that? Yeah. <laughs> What's the horse? <laughs> No, 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 don't tell us about that. I think you can use your imagination. It's much more exciting. But how? Why are you counting? How did you count? Did you tick yeah. them off on the fridge door? Because you do. Because well, you do. Just, you do, because you become so... Uh, it's nearly like the obsession that you've got with it. Steve, again, the uh, Scouts Steve, it's, together, yeah, yeah, the Scouts have stuck together, yeah. It's nearly like the obsession uh, uh, that you've got with it. I've got... You used to get to the stage, you used to think, well, you are we ever frustrated. going to do it? Are we ever, go are we ever going to get through this, this barrier that we're... And what happens, the least times you do it, the least times they ever want to do it, and then it just falls down completely. I think that's true. Mm. Because Angie? it's a fear of Angie? it then. I think she gets frustrated, obviously, because at the end of the day, she's a girl. Women of today have got a higher sex drive now because we can be open about our sex drive. We want it as much as the men, basically. Yeah. Some, Some of us. Some of us. <laughs> <laughs> Some of us. You used to. You used to. For about, no, like I say, the apple thing to the April, it was only for three yeah, months to be the together. Child. No, I would the child. No, I'd never blame him. I mean, he's a really good boy. Why did it boy. change then? Because obviously after you had your child, then it you... It was during him. pregnancy. It wasn't just after I'd had him. We, from the March we got together, even on our wedding night, I was trying my best to get out of it, and that's on my wedding night. And I was that four was months wrong. pregnant. <laughs> now, that felt wrong. Or do you feel if you didn't Steve. have the child, it would be something else? No, no, I'd never blame. There wouldn't be I, another excuse not to want to? Um, probably, yeah. Sorry, I was taking you the wrong way so you, then. But you would have yeah, thought probably, of another excuse yeah. to say to him, look, leave me alone. At the end of the day, no offence to Andy, but I think they just get bored. So. Yeah, but then you've got to take time out for each other. You compromise, you do it in different places. Yeah, no, you not to that degree, just sex in general. Oh dear me. Of sex in she's getting bored and she's only I 20 and only been married five minutes. Yeah. We're having a we're having a conversation here about 
the difficulties that arise when there's an incompatibility with the number of times you want to make love and your partner wants to make love. And it obviously causes real problems. Because sex is important. It's important to, to all of us in our relationships. And our relationships don't necessarily depend upon it, but they work better if it's all in harmony, don't they? But isn't this perhaps something in the notion that are we making too much of sex here? Are we, making, are we stressing its, its importance too much? Move up for me, come on. Come on, move your bum. Is it, are we making too much of it? Are there other things in life that are as important or more important? Or in a relationship, rather? Of course there are in life. Well, I, I sympathise with the, the people, spend, especially the uh, chats, but as you get older, the, the sex drive seems to go. But the ironic part about it, the situation reverses. How old are you? 46. But, mm, um, speak for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> so my sex drive is diminished, but what I found going out, being single and all the rest of it, is that the, the situation is reversed. Whereas I used to be the chaser, I'm now the chased. And the pressure is put on for sex. And you get this mauling, and I don't like it, and I back Mauling? Up. Mauling, yes. <laughs> Hands in pockets, everything. And it, and it gets quite disconcerting. Oh, I it's like Angie said, us girls now are open about our sexuality. That's See, right. He's getting mauled. Yeah. You should be... How can I say honoured that a girl comes up to you and approaches well, you like I do, that, Peter? But the situations when it's oh, you didn't say that. Hang on, she didn't say that to to, to no. Tracy, did she? She said to Steve, "Get your hands off her and treat her with respect." Yeah, but then I suddenly, when you say you're getting mauled, yeah. she's saying you should be honoured that a woman wants to. I wouldn't to, to get the impression that it happens all the time, but when it does, it's 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 annoying because you like to be treated with respect as a woman likes to be treated with respect. But today so, we yeah. just open and yeah, we just go like, for it. Girl power, and, it, and it's all women now. Really? They know what they want to go for. It's too much of a focus on, on sex and all this relationship. There's so many other things in relation other than sex. It has to be. Yeah. You can't sustain mm. a relationship purely. Oh, but nobody's sex. saying that, are they? I don't think anybody here has said that you're know, sustaining. Of course you can't. Or it, it might last in the in the first kind of well, flush of passion. Never got married if it was like, based on sex. Well, exactly <laughs> what Kerry is saying. They would never have got married. Yeah. There's always more to that. What we're asking is, how, what, how important in that relationship can you do without it? There comes an obsession with sex, though, doesn't there? Because yeah. when, when you want it and you can't get it, then there comes an obsession. Then you get the, the disharmony which is happening down there with and Steve. over there. With if they reverse the roles, like the lady over there, if she it's went up to the, to the gentleman um, when, he wants to play for, when he wants to watch football and constantly battered him... Or, oh, and well, that's him, serious football. ...then it would be the revolver oh, oh, reversal. Oh, oh, well, oh, come that's on, you can't Steve, football. football's, in a, di football's, football's in a different you league. You can't do it. Well, you can't interrupt the football. I mean, sorry. Then he might realise how she feels. Because the football. That's the situation, isn't it? Steve? It's understanding. Not football, Steve. Is it more... How important is this? It is important to a certain degree, but... I mean, we've come to the compromise that it's not just about sex, the, the marriage that, we, that we've got. Um, it's, a, it's a whole aspect of things, like I said earlier. Sex is just a small part of it, and if you haven't got it, well, then you're to, you've got to deal with that. You've got to talk to each other, and you've got to work around that. So you're, you're, you're saying quite clearly that there is a problem, you, and, and there is a serious problem between you about your sexual relationships with each other. But nevertheless, you know that important though there is, your relationship is, and, and the children that you have together, that itself is also more important. Oh yeah, I mean, we, we are a relationship as we stand, but it would be nice to have that little piece extra. You'd like to but be able to... That's something again. We have to we have to deal with ourselves. And, and you know that you can deal with yourselves. With. Yeah. Oh, we, we can yeah. do. Yeah, because yeah. you because you if you've re I mean part of it the first part is recognising the problem, isn't it? Yeah. And be, and, and you're both accepting the problem and yeah. talking. Yeah. You're too big talk about talking. We How do you sort it out? It's, it's literally, I mean, I can emphasise listening to all of these conversations. We've been there, we've got the T-shirt for it. I used to be demanding sex, the cuddling, the washing up, all scenario, been there. But as it was, it was the scenario, we have to sit down and talk about this because we were mm. then having just rows about purely one thing, sex. And um, you have to sit down. We, I mean, we, sent, we sit up in bed many a time just talking about our feelings, of how we both feel, what, how we put up um, each other in different compromising mm. situations. And have you sorted it out? Oh, yeah, we sorted it out. Oh, how long did it take? <laughs> it's taken a good couple of years. I mean, we've got. Oh right, you're in for the long haul here, Steve. <laughs> a couple of years, but okay, a couple of years of talking. As long as you're together at the end of it, and you both want to carry on being together at the end of it, how who cares how long it takes? Take the time, talk, take care of each other. <laughs>
So your man got boring. Are you full of bounce and vigour? But he's lost his. Right, call us now, 0990-200-567. We want to hear all about it. Do you want to go out and have fun? But all he wants to do is sit in front of the television and sweet beer. Are you a man who would rather stay and relax, but your girlfriend wants to party all the time? Right, call us now. Twenty on BBC One.